Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into another video. Today we're gonna to be starting the build process on the K24A build that we have for the four-door Integra. Previously it has been a JDM long block that made almost 250 wheel horsepower with the ITVs. And now we're gonna be switching towards a built motor that has high compression, aftermarket cams, and a whole bunch of other trinkets to support it. For the bottom end, we'll be using some regular go-to parts that are commonly used in these engines. We have some CP 12 and a half to one compression pistons, some manly H-beam rods, paired with an ARP 2000 rod bolt as well. The pistons are lightweight, so they do have a very thin wall wrist pin, but it'll still be more than enough to support the power that we plan on making with this. For oiling, we have an OEM Type S oil pump that we already did notch the bottom of for clearance against the main bolts on the K24. And we also do have some ACL rod and main bearings to go along with the bottom end. Since we are using 87 and a half millimeter pistons rather than the 87 millimeter traditional bore that comes in a K24, we had to send the block out to Mazworks, which is a local machine shop, and they did all the finish work for the bore and the final honing as well. They've got the piston to wall clearances already set, which is why we took the pistons with the block to the machine shop. And while there, I also had them check the pin fit from the rods to the wrist pins to the pistons to make sure that everything was within a nice spec there. Now back at the shop, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this. So grab a beer, get some popcorn, sit back and enjoy the video.
through and cleaning all our rings before we actually put them on the pistons. I'm on my last one and this is the oil control ring. You might be used to cleaning the top two rings and ignoring these. Maybe a quick check on the clearances and going from there. But these have not been cut at all. For reference, a little ATF and a lint-free towel. You can see we've already done the rest of the rings. Some of them were crazy dirty. But let's go ahead and go on to a bare spot right here. I just want to show you really how much is in one of these rings. Look at that, just a section of it and it's already coming out. That is insane. We're gonna go ahead and do another section right here. Just to see if we keep on pulling more out. Keep in mind, being that this is the oil control ring, this is the one that directly comes in contact with your oil. And you definitely don't want this kind of thing contaminating your oil, especially on a fresh engine. I love these piston ring compressors. It makes everything, it's the disc compressors. They have the, the wind down version. I've never used the wind down. The big ones are better. These are the best. This is why I only use these. <laughs> it's the best compressor for a piston ring. Get your sizes here at Real Street. Yeah, oh yeah, hit us up here at Real Street if you wanna buy one. You need a paycheck.
So that wraps up the block portion of the build. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed assembling it. Um, I think everything went really smooth. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support over the last couple months, especially. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers here on the channel. So if you guys could help us reach that target, please share this video onto Facebook, Instagram, or any of the other socials. Send them to your friends and keep it in your back pocket if you're assembling a K-Series or another Honda engine at home and refer back to this video for any information. And if you're interested in watching the rest of the build process, we'll have a video for the piston to valve clearance as well as a video for the cylinder head assembly. So if you guys are interested in watching either of those, make sure to hit the buttons on the screen. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video.